Hey everybody, welcome back. On today's video, I'm going to be giving you a short tour of my bicycle and my trailer that I'm going to be riding cross country here in a few weeks. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. So, here's my trusty steed that's going to run me across America. Um, it's a, I don't know, 2016, 15, something like that. Uh, Specialized Roubaix Pro Disc. It's a full Altegra build, 11 speed, um, full carbon frame, carbon wheels. Um, as far as gearing goes, I think I'm running a 5034 on the front crank and an 1128 on the rear. Gearing should be sufficient, I think, for the hills. For the most part, if not, I'll just have to stand up, not be lazy. Um, it's not your traditional touring bike by any means. It's more of a comfort uh, road racing type bike. Uh, it does have these little zerts that will help kill the road harshness, if you will, which will be nice. Um, geometry of the bike's pretty close to what I used to race. So hope that won't be too much of an issue with my shoulders and neck and all that good stuff. Um, I am planning on doing some clip-on time trial bars just for some added comfort and the, the uh, ability to run different positions. Other than that, I'm pretty much going to run it as you see. Um, as far as the trailer goes, I got the bob here. I just took it out for a, its maiden voyage of about 35 miles. Um, it was fantastic. I didn't even know it was there. The only time I really noticed it was when I was standing. It took a few minutes to kind of get used to the way the weight shifted back and forth. But other than that, you don't even know what's there. Uh, going uphill obviously is an issue. I mean, I got an extra 35 pounds on the back, so that's kind of a no-brainer. That's not going to go uphill very well. But I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think I got more than enough room for gear. I only have, I'll you know, probably run somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 to 45 pounds. Uh, so yeah, it should be should be fine a good setup. I think I am going to run some bottles on the back uh, a pair of those just to Kind of further extend my range in the dry areas if you will As of right now, you can probably tell I'm sweating my ass off. It's about 101 degrees So we will keep this video relatively short because I'm gonna die here in a minute um, Everything on here is waterproof the bag. It's a 90 liter bag. It's fully waterproof um, inside of it, all my backpacking gear, camera gear, all that stuff in there will be in dry bags separately. Um, so I shouldn't have any issues with water. I will probably get some fenders on the front and rear of the bike, just in case, because it's bound to rain. I have bad luck, so stands the reason I'm going to get rained on at some point. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'm going to be cracking this bag open, and I'm going to show you what's inside and what I plan on bringing with me as far as the gear goes. All my camping gear, and tools, and clothes, and extra tubes, and chains, and cook stuff, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, check that out, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. <music>